Yo, welcome back to Dot TV. I am Elda. And if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to hit the subscribe button. And I need you to go ahead and hit that bell. Then light up the comment section with hashtag Dot Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin, okay? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cuzzo? What's up, for me? What's up, my shrilly? You know I'm love you long time, baby. You know what I'm saying before I have my green card. I'm love you, baby. But you know we be lying. Welcome back. Bang. Hey, back. Bang. Hey. So, <clears throat> how you doing, cousin? How you doing? Me? I'm good. I'm good. I feel some type of way though. I really do. You know? I think today was one of those days where it was just a think tank. Where my mind, when I said I thought about everything, I thought about everything. Okay? And if you don't follow me on social media, Okay, I need you to go ahead and do so. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Okay? But as y'all know, I do have a three-day uh, Zoom conference coming up. Uh, the Chamber of Prayers. And this is uh, Beyond the Distractions. And y'all, I had to sit and evaluate, sit and process and decipher and all these beautiful things on what is distracting me right now one of the distractions is emotions all right this is why we have to master our emotions but i kind of wanted to encourage somebody today okay because you know us humans when we're going through something and the people that say that they love and care about us don't come through or they don't ask us if we need help or when we do reach out for help you know you always you i'm gonna say always some people it's always some people you know um you know they basically give you some some story on why they can't help you or they make you feel a certain type of way um some of us are some some of you cousins are gonna agree to disagree um some of you just gonna agree just to agree because you know it's real it's facts but you can't feel no type of way when somebody tell you no and you can't allow yourself to feel some type of way because somebody made you feel some type of way one thing i i i, I do my best to do is to position myself where I won't, I don't have to ask anybody for anything. Um, now, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not saying I always got my stuff together. No, because there is times or there are situations where I may need help. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm not led to ask, I'm just going to, I just thug it out until, until it replenish, until it comes through or whatever the case is. But. I find it funny how a lot of people get upset at the next person because they have boundaries. How do you get upset at somebody who who position themselves to be good? How do you get upset because they respect the boundaries that they set? And for some people, they may get upset because they're like... If you would have asked me, if you were in that situation and you would have asked me, then I would have came through for you. But that's what you got to understand. Not everybody is you. Not everybody going to move like you. Okay? So if that person has a boundary set and they said to themselves that I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. And that same I'm not going to do X, Y, Z is the same thing you're asking. You can't get upset. And I realized that a lot of us, because I'm not excluded, a lot of us um, lack stewardship. We lack stewardship. What do I mean? We're not 
we're not we're not governing over the things that we have now because the word of god says if you be faithful with the little i will make you ruler over much and i was telling my friend today and i was telling a couple of friends over the time sometimes it's not that you need more money you just lack financial discipline or you lack financial literacy some of you some of us are saying there's not enough time in the day we lack discipline in our time we lack time management this is why we got to know our strengths this is why we got to know our weakness this is why we got to set boundaries and this is why we cannot listen to what I'm saying and hear my heart. I love you. I love you, Cuzzo. But this is why we have to categorize people. What do I mean by categorize people? You got to, when people, when people show you who they are, believe them. Okay? And stop setting high expectations when it comes to them. If they showing you, if they showing you, the real them okay if they showing you for example because we all can relate to money right okay if you if you realize that you can't get twenty dollars from this person but they're completely okay with coming to ask you for hundreds or thousands or whatever based on your relationship but you can't go to that person for that listen it's okay to put them in the category all right and don't feel no type of way because now you're being realistic with yourself and you're setting your and you're you're not setting yourself up to be disappointed you're not setting yourself up to feel some type of way so i had to check myself today y'all okay i had to check myself today i said i can't feel no type of way mind you i didn't ask for nothing i was just you know cooling but the actions just kind of spoke to me and i had to i had to have a conversation with god i was just like lord i wasn't even opening my mouth to ask for nothing or because you know anybody that know me really knows i really don't ask i really don't ask so um but it made me feel some type of way and i've i've been noticing for the past two weeks the actions and i was just like i just been quiet lately i just when i say i just been quiet i just been quiet i've been under a rock i'm need i'm not even as active on social media like i'm not okay but i just been realizing a lot and i'm going to sit and i'm going to break this thing down because y'all we can't feel no type of way and that is the enemy and this is why i say we need to master our emotions if you remember what i said earlier one of the distractions are the emotion the emotional the emotional realm okay um certain situations will happen will get you into your feelings get you and then you shut down or whatever happens when you get in your feelings so you need to know the distractions um that the enemy uses to keep you um, stagnant okay so and for me it was emotions and I began to feel some type of way I really began to feel some type of way and it, it started to um, make me think um, think away but this is why the, this is the word of God this is why I had to subject my thoughts unto the Lord and I had to ask the Lord to give it to me in a different perspective and this is where I'm coming to you today. I'll be right back. So I had to ask the Lord to give it to me, um, to allow me to see it from a different perspective. Um, and that's why I came to the conclusion. I can't feel some type of way. I have to accept it for what it is. You show me, that's it. Now I know how to move accordingly now i know how to govern my emotions now i see how the enemy is trying to use my emotions against me and um and trying to interfere with what god is doing 
in what's to come. So, yeah, I'm just like a lot on my mind, y'all. I'm getting ready to do a, I'm going to take you guys on a day of self-care. And this self-care is actually the external. Why do I say external? Because it's the physical. Um, because a lot of us are mistaken that self-care is, oh, hair done, nails did, new outfit. Yes, that is part, part of self-care. But, um, but yeah, your girl is in need of a self-care day. Y'all, y'all see y'all cuzzle. All right. But don't judge me. Judge your big toe. But go ahead. I want to hear y'all two cents in reference to categorizing people and not feeling, um, not feeling a type of way after somebody tries to or whatever the case is but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you you got victory on every side